garden friends. Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. I'm great. Got a small hanging basket here. I want to do a planter. Now, sometime I want to say last week, which is irrelevant depending on when you watch this video, Laura from Garden Answers did a video with jellyfish planter. She put some New Guinea impatience over the top with diconjur coming over the sides. It looked stunning and she didn't really nominate anybody for the challenge, but she called it a challenge, so I'm assuming that that means it's open to everyone. I'm gonna do it. I have a few different ones that I would like to do, but it turns out I only have two hanging baskets. I thought I had four of these little guys. These are just little 10 inch hanging baskets from the dollar store, from Dollar Tree actually, at the Cocoa Liner. That was like three or four dollars, I think. So it's not going to be as big as hers, but I kind of want to do a few. I also do have some larger baskets that I plan on doing something with also, but I don't know if that's really gonna fit into this video. For now, I'm going to do what she did. Then I think I'm gonna go ahead and try another one that's maybe a little bit different. First, I need to find something to set this on. All right, that might work. Kinda gross and rusty, but really mowing the lawn now? So I went ahead and I just put in some general all-purpose potting soil into the hanging basket and added in a little bit of continuous release fertilizer and work finish to the top of the soil. I have here the Dichondra Silver Falls. Unfortunately, it was slim pickings at the nursery. A lot of them were cooked, more, lawn, more lawnmower. It's eight o'clock at night. Why are people mowing their lawns? As I was saying, so it was slim pickings. They're all in kind of rough shape. Same thing with the impatience. Here I have three of the New Guinea impatience. These are the Infinity Salmon. Really pretty pink flowers but kind of the same situation here as with the others. I mean, they're kind of cooked, not in the best shape, but that's all I could really find. I don't live in like a nursery desert. There's nurseries everywhere, but everyone's kind of picked out. So I don't know what's going on. People aren't getting annuals in? I'm not sure. This is really going to be a tight fit. And then I loosened their root balls just about as much as I could. Let's see if I can manage to squeeze three of these guys in here and still get the dichondra in. But when Laura from Garden Answers did this, she just put the dichondra coming straight over the edge. And I kind of thought like maybe it should be coming out of the liner below. And I thought about it some more and I was like, I think that you'll still get that nice bell shape on the top, even if it's coming over from the side, which that should work out just fine. And you don't have to go through the trouble of cutting those little X's and making sure they're filled in right in dichondra, my experience, a little bit fragile. Not fragile as in hard to grow, but fragile as in like it breaks fairly easily. I'm just gonna drape it. I went through, I put the dichondra in here, I ended up using four of them, and then the three New Guinea impatients up here in the top. There's still some small gaps in here, but it's really not that bad. Did end up having to go through and remove some of the soil to get these guys in here. Like I said, yeah, okay, see those gaps? They're just there. I got four plants in here, that's all I could fit. This thing is jam-packed. And uh, yeah, it is looking a little bit rough, but some TLC and these guys will pop back just fine. Okay, and for the next one, sorry if the sound from the fan is kind of annoying. It's 94 degrees out and I'm not turning it off. Time to do the next one. Same theme here, using an impatience. This is a variegated sun impatient. Like I was saying before, it's a uh, slim pickings at the nurseries right now. Everything they had wasn't looking that great at multiple nurseries. The, the temperatures have just been all over the place. So this'll do. This is going to fill out a 10 inch basket just fine. This basket up there, absolutely nowhere near big enough for this plant. I'm going to have this on my drip emitters for sure. And then filling in this time with some Creeping Jenny. Parting the mess. I've been planting things here right here. You know what's happening. I think the Creeping Jenny is going to look pretty cool. It has a similar habit to Dichondra. Going through here and I'm kind of actually spreading the roots out a little bit so that they'll fit a little bit more snug in between the root ball of the center plant and the outside. All right, so here we are with the Creeping Jenny. This is going to fill out, I think, a little bit more than the Dichondra would. It should spread a little bit and then trail down the front. This Sun Patient up here, I didn't tell you, did I? This is the uh, Compact Tropical Rose. The reason that the Impatience are gonna work well for all of these is because they have a nice mounded shape to them, so it's gonna kinda taper over the tops. Which is why I don't think it's really necessary to cut the holes in the sides of these cocoa liners, because it really, it should make a nice belt. That's what impatience do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's looking a little bit shabby, but that's okay. I do think over time that that should bounce back and look pretty cool. I'm really excited about these planters. The entire jellyfish planter concept is pretty cool. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. 
I think that these are going to look absolutely amazing. I'm going to be giving this more light than the one with the New Guinea patient because it's a sun impatient with Creeping Jenny. These are plants that can take a lot more light. It's going to need more water too, probably, because that's a that's a pretty tiny basket. It would have been nice to have been able to put more Creeping Jenny in there to get an like instant effect, but I only had four, and that's 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 all I could really find at the nurseries that weren't like sunburnt and crisp. So it'll do. I'm just gonna have to be patient and let it fill out and do its thing. I am kind of an instant gratification person when it comes to my planters. I like to fill my planters up quickly, but there's something fun about letting them fill out and grow and seeing the progress. And I am planning on doing a couple more of these, but it turns out I thought I had two more baskets and I don't, I don't know, I can't find them. So I'm gonna be going back to the dollar store, but one of them is gonna be made with Vinca and the Spiralis Corkscrew Rush. And the other one, I'm thinking about doing something kind of fun with some Semper Vivums and some Seneseo. I think that'll be fun. But for right now, these are just gonna have to do it. They'll fill out quickly and I will keep everybody updated in the, I guess it'll be the June garden tour, which will be at the end of June. I hope everybody's doing well. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps the videos a lot and I really appreciate every single one of them. Thank you so much. Also subscribe. I upload multiple times a week. I'll link all my social media stuff down below, down there in the roots of the video. Follow me and I'll follow you back and we can look at each other's pictures of all of our plants and things. It's a good time. And comment down below. I love hearing from everybody. What are some fun, kooky things you're thinking about doing? Anybody else trying these jellyfish pointers? Let me know. And as always everybody, most importantly, fun growing. Bye bye.